Explore new and simple ways to represent information and make any kind of graphics quick. And that's precisely what we are going to, to do here today. Below this, there is some projects that I'm going to talk today about it. Mm. And finally, some events important for the project. We was published uh, for the Gestalt 10 book about visual storytelling and uh, ho hopefully we're going to be at the, the next Visualize in New York next year in February. It was a, a Visualize in Europe a few, years, a few days ago. Do you know? It's a, it's a, spe a special event focused in, um, in visualization. It was in Berlin, I think the 5th of October, three, three days ago. Okay. Um, this is the one. Okay. okay. So we are here, I guess, to talk about visualization, right? Info visualization. But uh, but we are going to talk about a a, uh, a particular kind of visualization that is handmade visualization. First of all, to, to start to talk about visualization, we start to talk about people. This is a, 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 a person, and it looks quite confused, right? Where, where am I? He's, he's asking by, by, by himself. Yes, he's asking, he's asking that. Who am I? Where am I? What are they doing? And what is my role here? This confused person are all of us. And he, this person is confused because we're living today in a, in a very difficult world, right? right? In, at the beginning, okay, mm, for the last 20 years, the world has become more complicated. And it, this is for three reasons. If you have read about visualization, you know this are the three biggest reasons. The first one is more information. Yes, there are, there are more information in the world. This is a very important uh, thing to, to say. The second one, the access. You can access to more information more easily about, or, or using, for example, a digital technology or using your, your cell phones or internet, for, for example, was a, a, a um, big change in this axis. And the tier one is the complexity of information. Yes? The information is more complex right now. And that's the reason this person, this particular person that represents us, needs answers. Sometimes they know even who they are or, or, or they, uh, where they are. What is, what is our role right here, right now, mm, thinking, thinking about Syria, for example, the war on Syria? We are not doing anything. Should we? I don't know. What can we do? Yes? This is all the, the, the question that the, this person, the representatives, are, are doing right now. And we want to this person arrives to this place, understand, the understanding place, right? And what can we do? Our, our answer, I don't know, who are the visualizers here? All of us? Yeah, all of us are visualizers. Oh, oh, what, what are your profession? <coughs> I'm a designer. What's your profession? A designer. Designer. Who are designers here? I am a designer. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, we're journalists here. Who are developers? Okay, developer. And what, what are your professions? I don't know. Lawyers? <laughs> Maybe. What, what is going on here? What is your profession? I'm a student. A student of what? I'm a student I got education. Okay, okay. Okay. Usually, people interested in the visualized field 
are of these uh, other fields, right? Data strategies, because visualization is about data, and right now it's about big data, see, confusing data, very complex data. Artists, because they would like to stay in every field, I guess. <laughs> developers, why? Why will developers like uh, visualization? Because they work with a lot of data. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's the reason. That's the reason. Yeah. Designers, designers, because we work with people, show them things, I guess. And journalists, because journalists are trying to show them the reality, what is going on in the world, right? So there are the reasons. And these people found an interesting way to explain them what is going on, to help them to answer these questions here. These questions here, right? And, and this, this way we found to do it is visualization information visualization of course but there is a problem and this is the problem we are trying to help these people to understand the reality with this kind of visualization do you understand it <laughs> okay okay so maybe maybe someone the experts here that made that kind of visualizations understand it but i i make a proof i call my mom my mom is a 50 year old lady no, 50, 50, 50 years old. <laughs> and, and, I, and I asked her, please tell me what is going on here. And she didn't understand. I didn't understand too. Help them to understand, right? This is the question I, I wrote here. Because it's, it's kind of a joke. Try to, to explain things like in, in this way. It's very difficult. Not for all the people, but I think 80% people don't understand this. I came from a country that, I have to follow me, right? I came from a country where only the 80% people, only the 20% people have access to internet. And this is a problem because this kind of visualizations requires an advanced, um, advanced ability to understand. They are doing that. We are doing that. I used to do that. I was a developer too. I, 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 I learned programming in processing. I don't know if you know processing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But I didn't anymore. And this is the reason, particularly. I, I found only the 20% of people understand what I'm doing. So what was my, my impact? It wasn't. I have an impact in the world. Mm, so, let's talk about visualization right now. What is visualization? Every, 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 anybody knows what is visualization? I want to hear voices. Very <coughs> quiet. Uh, <coughs> I insist. What visualization is? What is visualization? Don't know. Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell what is visualization. Visualization is teenagers talking about sex. <laughs> it will be teenagers talking about sex. Visualization is an elephant. And visualization is a hammer. Which do you think is the correct answer for what visualization is? Everything. Everything? Who says everything? It, it depends what you need to communicate or what's the message. Okay. Or who's the it, it could be a problem. Visualization is everything. Okay, yeah. this is an easy answer. Yes, well, both questions. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But yes, it's everything. Teenagers have teenagers talking about sex. Why? Why do you think <coughs> visualization could be teenagers talking about sex? I couldn't on. find a, a, a teenager picture, so I, I draw a a sticky, a sticky uh, person with acne. <laughs> <laughs> For me, this is the teenage age. Why? 
why visualization could be teenagers talking about sex? Do you want to talk, right? Okay. Yeah. So why? Why? What do you think? It still it depends on the question. What do you okay? So what, uh, why you why you use this way to communicate via this? Okay. What does it mean? Teenage <laughs> boy. <laughs> What's what is question for? It means teenagers talking about sex. Who is talking about sex? For example, question is, and you want want to answer somebody who are okay. talking about sex. So this is the one of uh, particular answers. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to 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 answer that question. I think visualization right now could be defined as teenagers talking about sex because. People say they are doing it, but they, they, they are not doing it, right? Mm -hmm. And people that are doing it are doing it wrong. So th th think in this, thinking in visualization. People say they are doing visualizations, good visualization, but they are not doing it. These are the kind of visualizations they are doing, right? So people who aren't doing it are doing it wrong, right? Like we can see it here. This is the, the, first, uh, the first definition I have to uh, visualization. The second one is visualization is an elephant. This is very interesting. I, I, I don't know if you have read the book, Beautiful Visualization. The last chapter of, of this book is called Visualization in Dext, uh, written by Jessica Hagi. Have you heard about, about her? She's a, 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 a beautiful woman, first of all. And second of all, uh, she's very good doing visualizations. Yeah, simple visualization. He, he used only a, a, a pencil and, and, and a, a piece of paper, and that's it. And she used this to describe what is visualization, to define it. She used this, this uh, particular uh, mental image. This is a tale, I don't know if, if you have heard, but the tale is about three blind people that are trying to define what an elephant is, just touching it, right? But the first, but the first person touched the leg and described the leg. And, and he thought visualization is that. Sorry, he thought an elephant is that. The second person touched her, her nose, the nose, and uh, described it and, and thought the, the elephant is the nose, has the, the, the form of the nose, the shape of the nose. And the, the third blind person touched the back and describing it again and again and again. We can have. 20 hands here touching the elephant. It's not fair with the elephant, <laughs> for example. Uh, but the point is, this is what we have in right now with visualization. The elephant is the visualization. All of us are talking about visualization. All of us are touching this elephant. Artists are touching the leg. Journalists are touching the back, scientists, sci scientists the, the, the nose, right? We're all touching the same thing, but we can define it, yes? It is, visualization has exploded, I think, the last 10 years, yes? It's very difficult to define this field. I, my, my, my postgraduate, Right, this word, post yeah. mm -hmm. is in communication, <coughs> and for communicator, for communicators, it's very difficult to define where we are. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, sometimes someone says uh, we become from anthropologists, and this is our our this is our, our field, anthrop anthropologist. And then someone says no, it's, it is not anthropologists, it is. Soci socionomics, for example, 
social studies, for example, cultural studies, studies. It's very difficult to define where the, the communication is as a field. I think the same, and I, I think with the visualization is the same thing. What do you think about it? Okay. You don't think about it? Okay. And the third mm, definition is visualization is a hammer. This is a very interesting one. Because a hammer is nothing by itself, right? You, you need a hammer to, to do something. You need a hammer to make a house, for example. But you can make anything with the hammer by itself. Nothing. It's a tool. The same thing is with visualization. Visualization by itself is, is nothing. You have a, a purpose for this tool. You have, a pro you have to need a project in your mind to use this tool. So it's not a good idea to start to study visualization or study the visualization field reading books or something like that. If you don't have a project in your mind, what do you want to do? Do you want to change the world? It will be possible if you plan it, of course. You can generate a, a, a small impact that, that can resonate in the world. I think I'm, I'm trying to do that. And th this is the reason why I'm here right now, I guess. I didn't expect to, to come back to, to come to, to Slovakia. Slovakia is? <laughs> no, I, I, it's the pronunciation. I know I, I'm in Slovakia. <laughs> I'm not drunk. <laughs> But the pronunciation is okay, right? Let's go back. So, we want to, to take the, this person to, to here, from here to there. And we're going to use visualization, or, or we are using visualization. And, and we call it visualized information. Visualized information, right? This is what we are saying right now we, when we talk about visualization. We say we are visualizing information. Is it right? No, this isn't right. Why? I prefer this term. I prefer making information visible. This is, this is, a, this is a completely change of the, of the concept. Change, visualize information to making information visible. And we are not just and, and we are not just trying to to that people understand. We want in this in this particular definition we want to mobilize. We want that people do things. Right? It's not enough to understand things. You have to make people doing things. Acting. It's it's a very interesting word to, to work with. So, this is the phrase, uh, I guess, resume this small lecture. It's not about visualizing information, it's about making information visible. What does it mean? Who tell me what does it mean? Who can tell me? Okay. The audience can see the information, okay. so they can understand it okay. better. Or better. Yeah, it's, it's something like that. See this. We are focusing that the, if you use this, this uh, definition, visualize information, visualize information. We are, could, could you help me with the picture, please? I'm registering the, all the workshops here in Europe. I'm going to log um, to load up to the to the to the web page. Mm. <clears throat> so if, if you use this definition, visualize information, we are focusing the concept of visualization in the technology. We're focusing in the computer 
Yes, I am visualizing information. What does it mean? I'm using a computer to visualize, right? The action is in visualization, in visualizing, right? And I think this is wrong because the action should be in people. So if you change the definition to making information visible, we are talking about the audience. We are talking about the people who are going to receive the information and the people that are going to, to act, right? I, I, I always say in here, as an as a example, that focus, the concept of, of visualization in technology, first of all, make uh, only experts can use it to visualize, and that's not true. I'm not an expert in visualization, and I don't know if you are, but it's not necessary to be an expert in visualization to, be, to visualize information, see, to make it visible. Many journalists can't uh, use a computer or use processing or, 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 or some pro programs to visualization, but they can make information visible. And they are making there an exercise of, of visualization. The example I, I say here always is uh, concentrate the concept in visualizing information is, is like says that you, uh, that to make a good presentation, you must use PowerPoint. And this is not true, right? If you say that, you say the only way to, to make a good presentation is using PowerPoint. But you, you can't make a good presentation without PowerPoint, right? Right? Yeah? So you can make a good presentation with drawings or, I don't know, or with Prezi or a, or a program, I guess. OK. So this is not necessary. This is not a necessary right now. This is a, 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 a fallacy, a felony, that visualization is only for experts, and that you have to, uh, or you have to know how programming to make a good visualization. That's not true. And we are going to make here some visualization, to simple visualization, uh, uh, that explains that, that point better. This is me and my mom, and I want to, to make visualizations not, ju not just for experts. I want to make visualizations for people like my mom, 55 year, years old lady that don't watch much TV, for example, don't, don't use uh, internet, never. Who is this cell phone? It's ringing. Yeah. <laughs> mm. But she walks all, all days from the house to the store. What can we do there? What can we do on the streets for, for, for people? Can we make visualizations on the streets? Yeah. Have, have you seen examples? I'm going to show you some examples here uh, that I've been working on. OK, can you make data visualizations with a shoe string? Yeah, yeah it's, this is possible. This is possible. This was a question uh, two years ago asked me on a, a magazine in France. And I say, yeah. And the journalist was completely surprised. I made a, 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 a graphic in, in the same moment. It was a great experience. Um, and can you make data visualizations with an IKEA box? No. No? no? <laughs> yes, we can. We can. There is a, a very a famous example of that. I, I don't know if, if you have seen it. I would like to see it to see it right now. It's a TED talk uh, that Hans Rosling made, I think, three years ago. Do you know who is Hans Rosling? Okay, he is an expert of the future. He talks about the future. And he talks about very complex, uh, very complex themes as population, for example, as urbanization, 
as the food in the future and things like that. He thinks all the time in this kind of, of, of information. Can we make data visualization with, with IKEA boxes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I, I wanted to, to, to you see the, thing, the, the last part of the, of the talk because at, at the end he starts to talk about this is a very complex issue. We can see it there because there he's using boxes, right? So we think, okay, this this must be easy to explain because he's using boxes, but that's not true. This is a very complex issue. And later he used a, a very sophisticated program in computer to explain to explain to to explain five things at the same time. This is very interesting. I, I would like to, to see it later. <clears throat> okay, this is this is Hans Rowling World Population, the, the, the video you have seen. And okay, okay, let's start uh, to talk about this particular project, the handmade solicitation toolkit. Uh, remember the hashtag. This tab we see talk we see before inspires me to, to make uh, I, I I have been working in this for I think three years but this particular talk was very inspiring for me because I thought it, it wasn't it, it, it wasn't necessary to, to to make a great experience to generate a great experience and to make a good visualization use a computer yes it was clear there so I inspired by, by him I decided to um, make a kit with simple elements that you can find in any store because it's not important what elements you use uh, for people who want to make a visualization, a simple visualization, who wants to, to say something. This this was the first version of this project. We have uh, wood sticks here, we have um, points, adhesive points, um, we have uh, globes. How, how do you say globes? Balloons. Globes? Globes? Balloons. 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 Okay, we, we call them uh, globes in Spanish. Or bombas in Spanish. That's after you can order it. Yeah. This is the first project I made with this kit. It was, I think, a very famous project. Um, this was published in many books and blogs in the internet. Um, it, it was internet visualized. I take a, a, very, a very simple issue and, uh, that I can access to the data very easily. Internet is one of these topics. Uh, this is one of the, the visualizations I made with the kit. Mm, it was simple data, two data there uh, represent in, with two, two uh, balloons. This is uh, users of internet in 2000 and this is users of internet in 2010. I take the pictures, I took the pictures in the a, a botanic garden in my city because I, I thought it was important for the dramatic as essence of the, of, the, of, the, of the picture, of course. If I have take this forest in my bedroom, for example, <laughs> but my bedroom is, is very nice. Now, if <laughs> I didn't take this forest in my kitchen, <laughs> I suppose <laughs> the, the photos have been resolved as good as they are. This is the second graphic. Uh, I use tape and it, it, it takes me, uh, I think, like 10 minutes, no more than like that. And this is the, the internet growth year by year. <coughs> this is other simple graphic, of course, mm, that I made with this, the sticky, the, the, wood, the, the wood sticky, the wood stick 
uh, it shows the, the, the com it's, it's com com compares uh, the Twitter accounts, the followers of many people in the world. This is just a part of the graphic. And it seems that like Lady Gaga, Gaga has more followers than Barack Obama. It was 2010, but I can't imagine that it seems the same today. Mm. And 10 more, 10 times more than Newsweek, right? Funny world. You know. <laughs> This is the, 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 the common um, domains compared. So we have the dot com domain is the bigger one, and the org uh, domain is small one. We have many other domains today, right? This is internet by country, users of internet by country. And this is a, a comparison between between uh, all the mails we receive all, all time and the mails we really want to receive. Mm -hmm. The rest of it is, is spam. So this was the first project I made with the Handmade Visualization Toolkit version one. This is the, the, the second version. This was all project that I made two years ago because I, I thought um, okay this is important and it become a, a huge success for internet so we can uh, people share these pictures in their, their Facebooks and their Twitter's accounts or something like that but I wanted to take the information to the streets because, as I told you, in my country, only 20% of people have internet. So I, I, I have, or well, I see the opportunity to, to work in the streets. As uh, I, I thought it was more, it was better. It has more impact for people. So I started to work in this project, Information Bar, City Data Intervention, based in a book uh, that wrote other Colombian uh, he, he's a, a, a social expert, I guess. Um, she studies semiotics too, things like that. Philosophy, for example. Mm. He wrote a very interesting book. I don't know if you have, have heard it because it's a huge project that uh, he calls, uh, in, in, in this case, Bogotá Imaginar, something like uh, the, the imagined city. Have, have you heard about imaginaries? Right? Right? Yeah. He, this is a concept that he did, developed for years. The, 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 the city imagined. How, how is different how the city is, the, the reality of the city, and how we think about it? For example, in, in Colombia, there is a big canyon between how people feel the city, if it is dangerous or not, and the reality. Bogota is not a dangerous city. It's like every other city in South America or even in, in Europe. It's not a dangerous city. But the perception of people is, in, the perception of people in Bogota, I don't know if here you perceive the same thing, but people think that Bogota is a very dangerous city. And this is not true. So it, he starts to, to think about it and asking people, how do you feel about your cities? How do you imagine your city? And he start to ask questions as, for example, very interesting questions. Uh, what color is your city? What color is? If I ask, what color is Cochise? What do you ask? What do you answer? What? Yellow. Yellow? Cochise yeah. is yellow? Why? Because most of the buildings are yellow. Okay, this is a very interesting perception. All of you think the same? Cochise is yellow? I saw Cochise is very gray. <laughs> I, I, I have been here for 40 minutes, I guess, but 
My perception is because she says a gray city. Every time in four claims the Okay. Who thinks Koshis is gray? I think Koshis is gray. <coughs> Who thinks Koshis is yellow? Okay. See what is happening here. And and this is this is the reason why this project was a huge success. They just start to find that we are living in different cities at the same time. We are living in the city that we imagine. This is was this was one question, one very interesting question. Other question was, for example, what is this the, the city, what is the street in your city that smells good for you? What do you think? What is the 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 this the street that bear with better smells in, in, in Koshise? It's Bella Street because there is one really huge cake shop. Okay, okay. Very interesting. That is for you because you you know that that shop is probably you visit every yeah, week or something like that. Like uh, one third of the street is the shop. Okay. So it's almost whole sweet street. Okay. And it's not so sweet. Okay. He starts. He started to ask these questions for smells, for colors, and he started to make a map of the of the city. Very interesting. I took some of, of the their the, the the founds he made and I start to make this a uh, graphics uh, ah okay he made this project not just in Colombia he made this project in all no in, in yes in all the capital cities in South America. So he made them the same project in Buenos Aires, for example, in Quito, in Lima, in Santiago de Chile. See? Right? Right? Mm. This is how it looks, this graphic on the street. This is a, 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 a typical Bogota street. Mm. I, I, I swear this is not dangerous city, but it seems it seems seems dangerous, I guess, for the graffiti thing right now. Uh, and pedestrians walk for this uh, particular um, street all the time. And I start to, to notice that people stop and see the graphic and start to discuss with each other, right? And it was a very, it was a beautiful experience that they have the opportunity to start to discuss these kind of topics that they usually don't 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 discuss because they don't read books like that and they start to see here here each each bar represents one city right like that each bar represents a, a one city Buenos Aires Barcelona Bogota Barcelona is because the study uh, was made in Barcelona too. Uh, the the only the only the only uh, city in uh, Europe, right? Yes, yes. Caracas, La Paz, Lima, Mexico, Montevideo, and this was uh, the 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 number of people that see the city in this color. So I put here and uh, the the most people seeing the terminal color. For example, for, for people that live in Buenos Aires, 47% see the city green. This is interesting. In Bogota, for example, Bogota is a very gray city. And it, it seems like that in this graphic. Caracas, I told in, in my imagination, Caracas is, a, is even more gray than Bogota. But for, for people that live in Caracas, it, it wasn't true. So people, when walk in front of this graphic, start to talk about it. It is true. It is true. How do I, I see my city? And this kind of conversation starts up in, with, with this simple graphic. This is me uh, making the graphic. I, I use a piece of paper, as simple as that. I don't like to use um, sprays or something like that. I usually use chalks or or um, or paper that is removable because I don't like to, to mark the city in this way. 
I have a, 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 an experience, a bad experience with marking the city. I'm going to, 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 tell, you, to tell you right now the, this experience. Uh, have you made graffitis? Have you ever made graffitis? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, okay. One year ago, uh, a group of people, including me, starts uh, to think about uh, to make a, a website where you can see where people was robbed. Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. So when someone was robbed, we put a point in the map of the city, right? Then we start to talk. Okay, it it could be it could be analog. Can we go to this point to this particular point? and paint a point in the street, we can do it. And we did it. We did it. We go to, in, in, not in all the city, but we start to a, a very important uh, neighborhood in, in, in Bogota that is called Chapinero. We start to po paint a point, a red points on the street. Each point represents a place where a person was a robber, right? Mm -hmm. and we, we thought it was cool, right? Because it was cool. As a project, it was very, very cool. But with, with the project uh, came uh, social problems that we can't imagine before. We couldn't imagine. For example, if we paint a point uh, next to a store and people see that point, they, they prefer don't enter to that store. So stores started closing in all Chapinero. <laughs> it was a bad idea, right? This is our example. This is my house, by the way. Oh, <laughs> my house. 